Today we are going to be painting each other. Nude. First of all, I thought it was gonna be darker than that. Also, did you put an A in your pubes? <laughs> we're gonna talk about insecurities, our life, our body. Self-image growing up, yeah. And we're just gonna paint each other's visions. All right, let's get to painting. All right, if you wouldn't mind just rubbing so I can see my, oh my, God. my piece I need to paint. I gotta unrub again, you know how much courage it took me to unrub the first time? Like, <laughs> literally like, I think I'm gonna name it Chad. Oh, I like that name. That was my fake name uh, for a long time. Let me see, okay, so tell me about your your relationship with your body. Are we going straight into it, all right? Yeah. All right. I feel like nowadays, I'm pretty cool with it. Growing up, I didn't like my head shape. It was too big. Really? Yeah, fifth grade, you know I got in a fight with uh, this kid because he kept calling me watermelon head. And and then- So you, I, I grabbed it on the- You headbutt him? No. <laughs> that would I hurt. I grabbed it on the collar. You know the spinning thing in the, the playground? Yeah, where, the like, merry-go-round? Yeah, you push I took it? him, slammed his head on the merry-go-round and I threw him out and I punched him in the chest. Were you ever insecure about anything growing up, um, like body-wise, other than your big ass head? <laughs> Shut your <laughs> bitch ass, you. <laughs> Probably my eyebrows. Your eyebrows? Why, what's wrong with your eyebrows? I think it was like sixth grade. I was just walking down the hallway. Very normal, I was just like going to my class and then just random, I don't even know who it was, like a random, random girl. She was like, why you always look mad? I was like, what, what are you talking about? And then I realized she was talking about my eyebrows, I guess. Did you try to trim them or something? No, I grow my hair to cover my eyebrows. Oh, that's why you had the emo haircut? Yeah, the little swoop so I could cover this up. And having long hair at the time was cool too, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can see your painting from back here. You can see? Yeah. Where? How? Right back here. Don't look. I can't, it's right there. What pose do you want me to do? Like Icarus? I, this and... is more of an abstract. It doesn't, oh, matter. doesn't matter. I'm just listening to the story that you're telling me and I'm I'm just trying to do my best. My big ears. You have big ears? I, that's what I thought in the, when I was a child because my ears are kind of different because if you can see the top of my earlobes. Yeah, they don't fold don't down. Don't fold down. So I always thought I was like some kind of like monster, but now I accept it, you know? That's why I pierced it right here. It's nice. Uh, what about physical like fitness? Mm. How, did you, how did you feel about that? I was skinny growing up, so damn, I guess I had this feeling of being weak. So I just started lifting weights. Uh huh. And then I started to look good. I was like, damn, this is addicting. So I started doing it you more. You just kept going? Yeah, it was cool. Nice. So what do you do now, fitness wise? I just run. Yeah, yeah lifting weights, it's good. It's annoying. It's just, you gotta like get in the mood to like lift weights. Yeah. That's already hard. Like, ugh. Running, you just go outside and explore nature, you know? But yeah, I had to grow up skinny. Why I look like a lollipop, big head, skinny legs, skinny body. I don't think that you have a big head. I think we have similar size heads. Do we have a measuring tape? You're actually measuring. This under the ponytail, right above the ears. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I really think it's gonna be the same. It's not gonna be I the same. I got a big head. I have a huge head. There was a one point where I was not the fittest in life. Yeah. It's when I started Glava Juice. I just worked so hard. Yeah. I didn't care what I eat. All I did was work and eat and work and eat. And then I ended up weighing like one, 178 at one point. That was the most you ever weighed? Yeah. Dang. It's like, oh. And what's your natural like, walk around uh, weight? Oh, like 155 usually. But I'm like, like, like 160 right now, so it's good. When did you get circumcised? I went to the Philippines to get it done. What? I backed out. No, because you get tuli, they call it tuli. They put like banana leaves as their like anesthesia. I don't know if it worked or not, but I was just scared. You didn't do it? I did do it. Oh, okay, okay. Here. I was like, wait, you did it. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I came back here and then they were like, okay, we're gonna do it because you were scared, so. Yeah, I so recommend. So much better, I was, I was asleep. <laughs> yeah. I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to sleep. Drug me up, yes. How old were you? 30? No. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. oh my God. 12. No way. Yes. Do you remember what it looked like before it? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a shotgun. I think I'm done. Are you um, satisfied with your work? I think so. I could do more, but I feel like it's your turn to paint. Oh, okay. You can put your robe back on now. Oh no. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going my robes here. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay. All right, cool. <clears throat> All right. Tell me, when was the first time you were like, oh, I don't like the way I look? 
I have a I have a cyst in my chest. Oh, okay. Like right here. And like it's not super noticeable, but if you look at it from the side angle and then look at it from this side, you can see this one sticks out a little bit more, but it's like benign. And the doctor said it's not worth it to take it out, just leave it. Uh, when do you notice that? Around like 12, I was like, I was like, that's weird. And then I asked my dad and my dad was like, oh, that's probably a cyst because I've had this. So we went to the doctor and they said, yeah, that's what it is. It's just a benign tumor. Oh. It's just in there. And then after that moment, did it like spiral down more thoughts? Like, oh shit. It was, I just kind of like over time, I just forgot about it. Nobody ever brought it oh, up. Okay. Nobody ever pointed it out. So I was like, I guess I'm the only one that can see it. Another thing is uh, my teeth. Your teeth. So growing up, everybody in my family had braces except for me. I had straight teeth, they were nice, but I ate a lot of candy growing up, like a crazy amount of candy. Was that when your candy addiction started? I don't know, I think my dad loves candy, my whole family loves candy, so uh, like every time I went to a gas station growing up, he would just always bring us candy, and so I just loved candy. I and mean, then because of that, I got veneers. Oh. So these are all fake. All my teeth are all fake. How did it work? Like the vin they shaved down everything? They shaved down every tooth is just a little stub and they put big fake teeth on it. Whoa. So that's why my teeth are kind of big, but you don't notice it, I think. I've gotten accustomed to it. Did you like that decision? I don't mind it now, but at first I was like, why did I do this? Yeah. In the beginning where you like, you regretted it? You're like, ah. In the beginning, yeah, I was like, that was dumb. But my teeth were kind of like, they were always cracking or like sometimes they would fall out because I like, they're so rotten. So I had some fake teeth, but I was like, I'm gonna just reset and just do all of it. And I did it. You know, Monette, she saw that, you did it for the first time. She's like, and she's a dentist. She's like, why did he do that? Classic like, Alex. Oh yeah. He, he. If he's happy, he's happy. But physically, I feel like I've never been like, oh, I gotta get bigger, I gotta get fit. I just always worked out and always ran. Yeah. And so then I became fit. And then I was like, oh, I don't know. Like when I'm boxing, like I'm just boxing a lot and working out a lot, but I'm not going and flexing in the mirror or taking like pictures. And I don't even notice when I look down, no matter how fit I am, I don't look that fit to me. I'm not like, oh, I need my chest bigger. Oh, I need my arms bigger. I'll focus on that. Doesn't really matter what I look like. My significant other likes me. That's all that really matters. Do the best thing and I don't need you know what a fupa is? It sounds familiar. A is it when it's you, like you... the the like extra belly down here. It's like this the fat when you get fat down here. And I told my girlfriend, I was like, hey, when we get older, we should grow fupas together. And she's like, no, I don't want no fupa. Oh, okay. You know what fupa stands for? Um, fat under the belly. Fat upper area. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> or fat upper. Area. Okay, okay. And I was trying to talk her into it. I was like, no, you know that scene from Ghost where the guy's behind and they're molding the sculpture? So we can do that, but with your fupa. <laughs> I like it, okay. Yeah, so I think it'd be romantic. And she said, no, it won't. Is there one body part you dislike? I feel I mean, like I have chicken legs too. Cause when my feet are facing forward, they're inward. But when I turn them out, my knees are facing forward. My knees go in like this, like a flamingo. Oh shit, okay, hold on. I need to color yellow for that. I didn't know you were gonna say chicken legs. Do you like your feet size? Yeah, I don't mind it. I wish I was like two inches taller, but I feel like every guy wishes they were just one or two inches taller. I yeah. forgot to mention that. I was like, oh, I'm short. Yeah, how tall Growing are you up. again? I'm like 5'8". I'm like 5'11 and 3 fourths. Yeah, my, my license says 5'10". Oh, really? <laughs> How's it going? Uh, it's uh, just a couple more. I just need more key points. So you're like 80% done? Uncomfortable? Yeah, 80%, yeah. Percentage, this is a question for me, just for my piece. Comfortable with your body, percentage is not comfortable with your body. Right now, it's a little uncomfortable, but I feel like I wouldn't change anything about myself. I feel like you got bigger balls than me, though. I was surprised by that. <laughs> bigger balls? I was like, dang. Have, you, have your balls dropped since you got older at all? Because they like get longer and longer. Uh, it depends on the weather, for sure. If it's warm, it's going to sag low for more. Because your balls drop when Whenever they're warm to get more cool really? and then when it's cold they shrivel up to your body temperature because your body your body is naturally hot so your balls kind of fluctuate depending on your body temperature. what if i never knew that now you know all right i look strong so strong. Was there a time when your body stopped you from obtaining a goal, a person, or were you just like, no, oh, um, whatever? There was times where I would go on a date with like a girl that was very attractive or like kind of famous. So I was like, oh, and I'd be super nervous because I'm assuming they've been with some freaking like fitness guys. Okay, okay. But it never stopped me. So kind of like away from their past because their past is their past. Who cares? Obviously, you love your body now, but. Growing up, did you always love your body? I actually was five, six until freshman or sophomore year of high school. And then I had like a six inch growth spurt or something like that. I have a high voice now, but I had a super high voice. So people called me uh, Mickey Mouse in high school because I was just this little skinny Asian kid that had a super high voice. And I was always positive and like, hey guys, 
Oh, I hope you have a great day. Do you like your voice now? I do like it. Like KSI talks about how high my voice is a lot. And I was like, it's high, but like Justin Bieber kind of has a high voice. Justin Timberlake kind of has a high voice. I think I'm just more animated when I speak. So it sounds higher. Yeah. I feel like yours is so much better than mine. I bet it's no, so good. I, I bet know, I feel like a tear is going to fall when I see his. I'm going to hang it up. Whatever it is, I'm going to hang it up in my house for me and my girlfriend to look at and be like, wow, they should name a Ninja Turtle after you. You know, all the Ninja Turtles are artists. They're artists. Donatello, Raphael. Yeah. Roy, Roy Fabito. And Chad. Oh, oh you didn't name mine, name mine. How's it, what are you, what are you gonna name it? Come on, Felix. this is what I'm gonna Felix, name it. Felix, Felix. That's yeah. a good name, I like that name. Felix the I like it. Okay. <laughs> Has a ring. Felix the <laughs> Yeah. All right, sir, we're done. All right, yeah. Let's hug it out. <laughs> Come on. All right, it is time to reveal my painting. I'm actually pretty excited. I want to know your vision. I know, you know, your mind is very vast and very exciting. I haven't so. painted anything in probably over five years. I, like, why, why would I have to paint anything? But I have painted today and it is time to reveal. You ready? Oh, yep. Don't be too harsh. I'm not an artist. All right. Okay. <laughs> you like it? It's so simple. I love it. It's like a, a, like a Funko Pop. Oh. Why you make my eyebrows so big, you bitch? <laughs> Huh? No, but then this is you running. You have running shoes and you have speed and then you farted. And having long hair at the time was cool too, so. Oh. Oh. You said skin is skin, so I didn't put too much detail there. I just put the big eyebrows. I like it. And the big head. Yeah. And yeah, I feel like red looks good on your skin tone, so. I'm not even wearing red shoes, but thank you. Yeah, but I imagine you, when I imagine you running like in a Nike commercial, you'd be wearing red shoes. You know I ran the marathon in red shoes. There you go, see? I did. I knew it. Wow, he did knew it. I knew it. Wait, we never measured your head. I was measuring my head. I bet you it's this freaking bigger than yours, man. I don't think so. I was about to say, why didn't you give me clothes? But I forgot we were naked. We were <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's my stuff. I'll just give me some clothes. <laughs> oh yeah. Thank you. Look, I like it. It looks like a broccoli fart. Yeah, it's like helps <laughs> with the speed. I'm assuming you farted during the marathon. You got a better I did, time, I did man. poop, yes. Yeah, and then yeah. your eyebrows probably, the aerodynamic probably slowed yeah, you down a little yeah, yeah. bit. How about my hair? There's no hair. Oh, you're right. You forgot my hair? You do have a lot of hair. You just put no hair to like over accentuate my head, <laughs> head size? Is that your vision? You bitch. Huh? Okay, come on. Five blocks, my head's bigger than yours. Well, this way, forehead. Yeah? Okay. This under the ponytail, right above the ears. Yep, big. Okay, I got it. All your right, turn. My turn. All right, right above the ears. Damn! Hey! <laughs> just kidding, I'm New kidding. insecurity unlocked. Okay, you wanna say yours or me first? I can say yours. Okay, what is it? Yours is uh, 24 and a half inches. <laughs> what is yours mine? is 24 and a half inches. I'm not lying. For real. Yeah, for real. I, it's 24 and a half, exactly. Damn! I told you we got big heads, boy! Damn, big heads! I'm ah! hammering down here, let's go! Okay, I'm excited, I'm excited. Where's yours? Let's get it. All right, to premise my piece, I took every single thing, your insecurities, everything you liked about your body, mm -hmm. your comfortability of body, uncomfortability of body, and uh, body deformities, and just accepting it sometimes, and just, I don't know. So this is how you think I see myself? No, no, you probably see yourself in a better light. Okay. This is just how I perceive your story about your body image growing up. Thank you, master. The piece is called Felix the Cock, okay? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Why are my teeth so big? <laughs> you did really well. Yep. Is that my cyst? That's your cyst. That's wow. first, this, I started with the cyst, actually. I started with that, yeah. and then I kind of let the whole um, painting grow from the cyst. Red represents the retraction of your body. You're retracting everything. I hate this. I hate this about that. Blue represents attraction of your mm. body. I love this. I love that. I love that. Purple. It's the combination of the two. Mm, and what's the yellow on my feet? Um, chicken legs. Oh. Those are your chicken legs. Your chicken ass legs. I thought you were gonna say that I was flying like a super saiyan. And oh then... no, no, those are wow. just chicken feet. Those okay. are chicken feet. My forearms are so big and my biceps are so skinny. Oh, I, I, I didn't know. I just put more emphasis on your biceps because that's what stood out when you did your flex. Oh. So I was like, oh, make your biceps bigger. And okay. then you have the V thing. It's pretty cute. Oh. Uh -huh. But that's how you see my teeth? I mean, you just talked about your teeth. You did like you talked about it for 30 minutes. So what am I going to do? Just, uh, just do it. <laughs> we spent a lot of time on it, so I took my time on it. Oh, I didn't know you were going to draw that part. Which one? The p it's I got to hang this Felix. up. Felix. Oh, Felix. I didn't go. know you were going to draw Felix, so now how am I supposed to hang this up in my living room? I mean, I'll hang it up. In your place? In your living room. <laughs> so, there you go. All right. You thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I, I will treasure this for the rest of my life. Uh, I appreciate sure. you and all that you are. 
And Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday at 11, 11 a.m. What are you saying? That's good. That's not sad. It's just, yeah. All right, we're done.